Researchers in Sweden have developed a microscale device for implantation in the eye, which presents new opportunities for cell-based treatment of diabetes and other diseases. Aiming towards encapsulating insulin-producing pancreatic cells and electronic sensors, the 3D printer device was developed by a team from KDH Royal Institute of Technology and Karolinska Institute. The researchers reported the results of the work in the journal Advanced Materials. The collaboration between KTH and Kalanitska Institute enables microorgans, namely pancreatic islets or islets of Langerhans, to be positioned precisely in the eye without need for sutures. It offers the possibility of cell-based therapy, for example, to treat type 1 or type 2 diabetes using the eye as a base. Anna Herland, senior lecturer in the Division of Bio Nanotechnology, says that the eye is ideal for this technology because it has no immune cells that react unfavorably in the first stage of implantation. Its transparency allows visual and microscopic study of what happens to the implant over time. The eye is our only window into the body and it is immune privileged, Herland says. The device is designed as a wedge about 240 micrometers long, allowing the structure to be mechanically fixed at the angle between the iris and the cornea in the anterior chamber of the eye ACE. The work demonstrates the first mechanical fixation of a device in the anterior chamber of the eye. The researchers designed the medical device to hold living mini organs in a micro cage and introduced the use of a flap door technique to avoid the need for additional fixation. In tests on mice, the device maintained its position in the living organism for several months, and the mini organs quickly integrated with the host animal's blood vessels and function normally. Herland says the technology overcomes one obstacle to the development of cell therapies, including those for diabetes. Namely, there is no need for invasive methods to monitor the graft's function and to guide care in order to ensure long-term transplant success. She says the design makes it possible to position many organs such as organoids and uh, islets of Langerhans without limiting the supply of nutrients to the cells. This design will enable future integration and use of more advanced device functions such as integrated electronics or drug release.